Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question longest substring with at least k repeating characters. In this question we are given a string s, an integer k and we need to return the length of the longest substring of s such that the frequency of each character in this substring is less than or equal to k. Well, this problem statement is wrong and it should be greater than or equal to k as we need to have at least k repeating characters. So, Moving forward, we see that we are given two examples with us. In the first example, we see that the string triple A satisfies the condition and we return the length as equals to 3. In the second example, the substring comprises of these values. So we return the, its length which is 5. We are given the constraint with the equation where the length of the string can be up to 10 raised to power 4. The string will only contain lowercase letters that is very important and the value of the k will be between 1 to 10 raised to power 5. Now as the length of the string is 10 raised to power 4, the time complexity O of n square will also suffice for this problem. Let's first understand what this question is about by taking an example. So it is a modification in the example 2. I have added 4 more characters into this string so that we understand it much better. The value of the k remains the same, it is 2. So now what we do is we will first count the occurrence of each character between the whole string. So that will be our starting point. Once we have the count with us, we will start from the 0th character and we check if its value is greater than or equals to k or not. As the occurrence of a is greater than 2, we move ahead. We will do this till we either find a character that is invalid or which doesn't satisfy this condition or we reach the end of the string. If we reach the end of the string without finding any invalid then the answer will be end minus start that will be our answer and if we find any invalid value like in this case this occurrence of c is 1 whereas we need at least 2 at this particular index we break the string and now the answer lies between these two of the string we'll apply the same logic again with updated start and end value for the two of the string and take the max of it at the end, we will return the max value of the string that we found which satisfies all the condition. It will be more clear to us when we code this. So let's jump on to the coding part. So we will have a helper method. We will convert this string into an array so that accessing the characters is much easier. We will start off from the 0th index till the length of the string and the value k. Okay. So these all parameters are we need. So let's define what will be in this helper method. If the end minus start is less than k, that means the length is less than k of the string, that means definitely we do not have any answer, so we will directly return 0. As discussed earlier, we need to count the occurrences of each character, so we will need a integer array. As all the characters are only small cases as given in the constraints, we'll take the length to be 26. Now we'll loop on the string from start till the end. Get the count. Now comes the part where we'll find the first invalid value if it exists. So to do so, we'll start again from the start pointer and go till the end. If anywhere we find that the count of the character that we are seeing right now is less than k then we take a variable to hold its next pointer we will have a while loop and will and iterate till we find a invalid value so the same condition will be here till it's less than k so we increment j at this jth pointer we'll split our string and find the max of the two values so in order to do so start till the ith pointer and another method which will be j till the end if we do not find any invalid value, then the answer will be end minus start. Let's run this code and see what will be the output. 
okay we forgot to increment it we got the right result let's test this for the second example as well so it gives us the right result let's submit this code so it got submitted the time complexity of this algorithm is of n square while the space complexity is of n thanks for watching the video see you in the next one